After signing into your Chromebook, you will notice an icon at the bottom for class tools. Once we click on this purple icon, a box will pop up in the top right corner. This will allow us to start a session for class tools. Class tools allows us to manage our class and take a look at what our students are doing. First, let's select our students. We can add our students by selecting our class. And then we have four students in this class. We can select all of them or remove any we don't need. The student isn't here today, so we're only going to add three students. After we add those students, if we forget one, by mistake, we can hit Add Students again, select the students or class, or remove a student if needed. We're going to go back to starting our session. We can also add resources or anything that we would like our students to take a look at. We can select an assignment. Like right now, I want all of my students to be working on this assignment. Add one assignment. Add another resource. I can make them go directly into their classroom. And then we'll go back one more time and hit next. This is where we can set the session length. For 60 minutes or one hour, I only want my students to be able to go to the tools in the tabs that I've allowed. If I want to make it so they can do whatever they need to, or go from one tab to another, or open up tabs that I didn't assign, I would have to disable this. But right now, I only want them to work on that one assignment. If I need my students to take a break from looking at their computers, I can hit pause devices. That way I can have them put all their eyes on me at once. If you click pause devices again, that'll go back to class tools only. We can see how much time is left. I can add or adjust this at any point in time. I can end it if I need to. And again, if I want to check those students, I can. So we can see that I have these four students and one of them is available right now and the others have not logged into their Chromebook. While we wait on those other students, let's walk through adding the resources. For this session, let's say we forgot to add the resources before we started. We can head back to resources, add resources. And what's great is if you already have a tab open, whether it's a presentation, a video, you can select your open tabs. I want my students to be able to work in Canva, Clever, Edmentum. I want them to be able to access their LibGuides and their Google Classroom. They don't need access to their Drive, Screencastify, or anything else. This allows my students to still be able to access different sites if they finish their work quickly without going directly to something like YouTube. I'm going to add these five tabs and we'll see that they've been added right away. Those tabs will automatically open for the students. As we connect to this student here, keep in mind the student will also see that the teacher is viewing their screen. Let's make this a little bigger. We can minimize this and see what our student is doing. This is the exact screen our student has open. We can see our tabs here and what they're accessing. We can see that they're taking a look at the LibGuide right now. And at the bottom of their screen, they can see which teacher is viewing their screen. We can view what tabs the student has open. By clicking on the little house up here, the student can see what's going on with class tools. They can see how long they have left. You can set your session for the time period that you're gonna have those students. And that lets them know how much longer they have in that class. And they can see what they're allowed to get into. And you can see they cannot close these tabs. There's no X here for them to close them. Those are the only tabs they can get into. And they can't open another either. But keep in mind, even though you enable the LibGuides or any other site, they may not be able to go from one site or one link to another. You will need to disable them. For example, if I allow my students to go to the LibGuides but click on Pebble Go, there will be a pop-up here at the bottom. 
that says that you are not allowed to access this link and to check with your teacher. So I, as a teacher, would need to add that as a resource as well. You can also manage or restrict the access of each tab. If you do not want the students to be able to leave the tab directly, click on the settings gear, all navigation, least restrictive, allow all website and any link, which would allow us to go to Pebble Go. But if we don't want them to be able to leave Admintum, this page only. Same for Canva. We don't want them to be able to leave Canva at all. But for Google Classroom, since we want them to be able to go into each assignment, we're going to leave this to other Google Sites, which allows them to go into Read Along, Google Docs, and so forth. Keep in mind, you can only view one student's screen at a time. You cannot view multiple screens at once. You would have to go from student to student to see the different screens. As you see here, I'm viewing this student screen and I'm still looking at my class tool session. If I hit pause, the student will automatically get a pop-up that my teacher has paused the device. This is a great time to have the students take a look at me and give instructions again. Once we hit it again, the student is able to go back into what they need. Now let's take a look at the captions and translation section. As I lecture or speak to my students, I can ensure that I have everything that I need for them to learn. I can allow the students to see captions and allow students to translate. But to do that, I have to enable all of these. As we can see now, there are already captions on the bottom of the screen. The students can enable this as well directly from their screen as they click right here. Now, as I speak, the students will see this exact same thing. They will see what I'm saying. So as I give instructions or read to the students, that's what they'll see. Here's a great example of this. I have this fifth grade solar system document already. I can read this to my students and they can translate it as they need. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered all about the twinkling lights? So many of them are stars just like our sun, but much further away. So I'm reading this document to my students, but I've also added it as a resource. If the student wants to disable it, they head back to the house and disable it. But this is great for those students that may not hear you or that want to read along with what exactly you're saying. So now that we've enabled all these captions, and again, we can enable or disable that at any point in time. The student can scroll down to the captions or translation box. Once they put their cursor in it, they can select the language of their choice. I can select for my words to be translated from English to French for my French speaking students. So as I read this again, our own sun is the center of something amazing called our solar system. It's like a giant family with a sun as the head and eight incredible planets that travel around it. We can see my words here on my screen in English, but then being translated to French for that student. When a student is doing amazing work, you can share their screen by casting it to your interactive panel. To do this, simply double tap on your Chromebook to right click, select cast, and then your devices or interactive panel will pop up. You'll see that you'll have some that might be grayed, but you should be able to select one to cast. This will allow you to cast the student screen only. Please keep in mind that you must be viewing their screen to cast it, and the entire class will be able to see everything on the student screen. You can even have the student move from one tab to another if needed, and that will continue to cast. And you'll want to ensure under sources that you have the tab only and not the entire screen. That way your entire screen is not being casted to your panel. When you're done displaying the student's awesome work, simply hit stop and close the tab. You can also stop viewing the student's screen by hitting the X 
or by hitting students and selecting to stop viewing their screen. If you need additional help or another tour, you can always select this drop down here and select quick tour. If you're not sure how to navigate class tools, you can hit the help center and it'll automatically open up to an overview and instructions of class tools. Class tools empowers educators to seamlessly share content, engage with students in real time, and provide targeted support. It helps you make the most out of your class time, keeping your students focused and by supporting diverse learning needs. It's a Google solution for modern classroom management. Keep in mind, Class Tools is only available on managed Chromebooks and is not available on students' personal devices. If you are not seeing a student or a device, please ensure the device is up to date and you may need to reach out to your school technology coordinator or your tech team to power wash or reset that device. When you're done with your session, you can simply hit End Session, and this will unlock those devices for those students. Keep in mind that you may not want the session to go over your class period time. That way your students don't head to a different class and they're unable to access their work for that class. You can always close that out and you can access class tools here at the bottom. For additional resources and assistance, you can go to jspsme forward slash TLC or check out our digital learning channel directly from the quick links. Thank you for taking this time to go over class tools with me.